Good morning and welcome to Quilt Chat. Isn't it nice to be back in the office? It's so good it to is. have you home. It's good to have oh, you here. Yeah. You know what? The quilt shows are always so much fun, but it's always good to be back home and sleep in your own bed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Isn't Nothing it? like it. <laughs> well, we're going to kick off today because, you know, this is National Breast Cancer Month, and we want to encourage everyone to go out there and get your, your mammogram. Ask me how I know in 1989, I found it because of a mammogram. Wow. And you are a survivor. Yes. That's right. Almost 30 years. Wow, that's great, Bonnie. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Right. That's right. So go get those mammograms. You never know. <laughs> that's that's right. right. Yes. Okay, well, we had some gorgeous winners at the Virginia Beach Show. Amazing quilts there. Oh, they were yes. really, really beautiful. And Susan Stewart was our best of show winner. Took my breath away. And, <laughs> and she quilt. won with her quilt called Stardust. And this quilt has so much in it. Uh, the picture really doesn't do it justice. Um, it, it, in addition to being a lone star, and she did that with some beautiful cherry wood fabrics. That was her mm -hmm. inspiration. Oh, but wow. then she did tons of different embroidery designs. And I know people think maybe, oh, well, that's kind of cheating. She just used a, a, a disc and put it in her machine. Not quite that easy. No. Yes. And then, of course, the entire border around the outside edge is lace that she stitched and made it wow. fit that edge just perfectly. Now, in this detail, you can see a little bit of the magnificent quilting. Do you know when you have a quilt that has that much open space, you do have to put a lot of quilting in it. I, I hope people get a chance to see this up close because it has lots of different mm -hmm. patterns that you might not expect in a quilt of this style. Right, and it's one that when you see it from a distance, you don't necessarily catch all of that. But the looking up close at one of the shows, it's just Gorgeous. It's just a feast. And there is, uh, Susan did tell me a little bit about the center of that quilt. When she was <laughs> making that uh, Lone Star Center, she said, uh, you know how the, the centers don't always meet quite correctly? Uh, it must have had a little bit of a, a little bit of a cup in it. A little bit of a cup. A Lone Star, yes. And it yeah, and her daughter, she said she tried taking, she picked out all of the little, she has, she quilted it with silk thread. She picked out all of those quilt stitches in that oh, area, wow. requilted it, still was cupped. So her daughter came by and she told her, why don't you just cut it out? So she said, I took a deep breath. <laughs> Oh, and her scissors. And I scissors, and I dug into the quilt. And it turned out beautifully because then she covered that with a really pretty see-through uh, embroidery kind of element there that was also unexpected. Yes. Wow, you that's know nice. what? I don't know if I'd have the heart to cut into oh. my quilt like oh, that. Oh, no. But she's no. done that before, so she was a little <laughs> bit of an old hand at doing okay. the cutting. <laughs> Oh. Well, Betsy, I know we had some fun stuff this time in our, our um, On Point. We did. We have a lot of really fun things. Of course, our Night Stitches series is still going on. Mm -hmm. And this week, we learned about the Black Cat Quilt Curse and this little black cat named Molly that might have been... Um, taken after a black cat that we have named Wednesday. <laughs> Who is every much as bit of precocious trouble <laughs> and has the same love of salmon. <laughs> and so uh, the fun little project for this week is a little cat perch. So it's a little 24 inch square and it is all the colors of black cat fur. Fun. Because <laughs> if you've ever had a black cat in your quilting room, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, no white quilt is safe. <laughs> So. Well, and so if they haven't read those yet, they can always go to aqsblog.com yes. and read the one from last week, too. So tell yes. us a little more about that. That's a story, right? They are. We're doing little short stories that are very scary stories for oh. quilters. Scary for quilters. Quilters, <laughs> yes. I was instructed I could do ghost stories and spooky stories, but they had to be for quilters. For quilters. <laughs> and so these are things that are just... I mean, they're spine-chilling, terrifying ideas, like losing your seam ripper. Losing or, your seam. That cutting, was last week. That was cutting, last week. Cutting into yes. the middle of a quilt. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and so we've got more terrifying stories ahead. And so you want to come back every week 
and be sure to catch the next in the saga. And in the first one, we got to meet a bunch of ladies at the Gingham Gals Guild. And they are very reminiscent of the very first guild I ever went to, which was floor frame. Yeah. We all sat around the frame mm -hmm. and you you kept up. That was the whole yeah. goal of visiting was and you know, up. <laughs> there's always one person in that group that isn't quite up to par. Oh, yes. You know, and then yes. you have that lady who insists on picking those stitches out, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> totally. And Sometimes after that person's yes. gone, right? Yes. yes, and there's always a fang <laughs> who has her opinion, and you're going to know what it is. And I will say, Faye, there's like three or four ladies they are smashed together to make Faye because she's always, you love her, but she always has a strong opinion about things. <laughs> so you might identify with some yes. of the characters in these stories. Yes. So you want to keep up with our antics, so come back and visit each week, and we'll always have a fun little project to go with the story as we get ready to celebrate Halloween. Well, and you know, we all are making different kinds of charity quilts, and I know a lot of people make quilts for people that are in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, nursing homes, the mm -hmm. uh, lap quilts for um, the different nursing home areas, those are always really... There's a lot of requests for that, and it's a specific size so that mm -hmm. it keeps that way. And so we designed one this week out of that's fall out of maple leaves. Oh, and nice. so um, the tip I wanted to tell you is whenever you make that, um, if your person's lap is shorter, drop the bottom border, or drop the top and bottom border, mm -hmm. and you can just put side borders on so they have extra cozies to tuck around to behind. tuck under. Sure. Uh -huh. Yes, but the, the things that to remember is, to, is safety. You never want to tie a quilt to a person, so oh, don't add goodness. a strap to hold it up for them. They, they're just going to have to hold it up. And then um, some of the pockets and things that people put on quilts, um, it's always best if those are separate so that their hands aren't trapped should they start to fall. And that's those safety things are really important. And so this little quilt is just a quilt, just a lap quilt, mm -hmm. and it'll keep them nice and cozy. Yes, and if it's somebody who is kind of cold blooded, they could put flannel on the back, couldn't they? Oh, that's one. That would be a idea. really good idea for yes, that kind it is. of a quilt. It, and it keeps it really light. Yes, for them. That's and always, warm. Yes, <laughs> it's wonderful that way. Hello to everybody who's checking yes. in this morning. We have Looks lots like of we've waves. Got a, got a good group. <laughs> Absolutely. Someone says, hi, Ms. Browning. I know who that is. <laughs> My friend Peggy Morrison, her son, always calls me Ms. Browning. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's sweet. Okay, now, I think we have a new magazine that just we came do. out. We do. We have an exciting new magazine that would have just arrived in members' mailboxes in the last week or so. And uh, if you aren't a member of AQS, it's uh, oh, available also at Barnes & Noble related stores and uh, Joann's so mm -hmm. you can you can still find one this issue has a lot of Christmas to look forward talk about holidays you know oh, once we fun. get to Halloween it's Christmas time it's kind of boom into Christmas and you want to get a head start on those projects so we have two Christmas quilts we have a, a small project for Christmas giving we have um, Christmas stockings um, Cindy Seitz Krug gave us oh, a so wonderful, wonderful technique article about uh, free, free motion quilting and learning a lot of different stitches and using them on your stockings. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really, really interesting article. We've got the Xenia that we had here a few weeks ago by okay, Stacy Day, uh, a cat quilt that we're going to oh. show next week. Yeah, we're going to wait for that oh. one. <laughs> right. Uh, the magazine includes some embroidery tips from Laura Wazalowski um, and a big article about Kiko Goki uh, and how to be more improvisational and her, oh, her tips for, for making, uh, putting more improvisation into your quilts. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. So it lots of like things. You have something for everyone. And that's not all. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have uh, Kimberly Einmo's mm -hmm. uh, column, Stray Threads, this time, talks about her new studio. She mm -hmm. moved and created a new studio, and she gives tips for oh, creating your own space and what you should do when you're making Those a are studio. Those great. With and pictures. Only, I was going to say, she has <laughs> pictures of her right. brand new studio, too. Right. Yes, so, definitely. That a lot of fun exciting. things. So exciting. Well, and so speaking of um, Christmas, yes, mm -hmm. we have 
we have some patterns for kids for Christmas, do we not? Oh, yes. We did 12 different gift-giving ideas for kids on the blog. So aqsblog.com. Go over there and visit. And they're all things that you can get started on now and have them done in time for Christmas. And lots of fun little animals that you could put on anything or make a fun animal quilt. Lots of fun things for all different ages. I always like to start my Christmas sewing in October so that you uh -huh. don't end up in November and now you're just rushing. In the crunch. Right. Yes. Right. And so, yeah. I mean, that's a good time for us it to is. start those it Christmas projects. It is a lot of fun. And it's, you know, the AQS member site. So we have the projects that are special just for AQS members. It's exclusive content just for you. And um, our art workshop this week is really exciting because it is using pre-cut fabrics and letting you Cut those up into paper pieces in the finished size, and we give you all the sizes for whichever one. So if you want to work with a charm pack, say, which are mm -hmm. five-inch squares, mm -hmm. and you want to take that and you want to design a block out of it because you've got your favorite charm pack, but you don't know what to do with it, well, you cut up your little paper pieces in different values of paper, and you put those together and play with them, like kind of like the pantograms, you know? You just play with mm -hmm. it until you get the block you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you translate that into cutting instructions and we give all of the instructions right there in the little workshop and they'll tell you exactly what to cut so that you can make that into a block and you can make a whole quilt and design mm -hmm. it yourself just by playing with paper. Oh, fun. And it, all the math is done for you. That's right. That's the best part, right? <laughs> and we did it for uh, two and a half inch strip rolls. We did it for the charm packs and we did it for the 10 inch the big um, stacks, the layer cakes. Mm-hmm. We yes. sure did. Well, and I know you and I both use electric quilt. Oh, yes. To design our quilts. And so I was not aware of the EQ Mini program, yes. mm -hmm. uh, but that's in our blog today. It is. I did a tutorial on EQ8 and EQ Mini doing the exact same thing. So this is also a really great chance if you've been curious about, do I want EQ8? Mm -hmm. Do I want to try the Mini? What would I want to do? You get to see them right there. And you can look at them. They're doing the exact same steps side by side, but you can see how it's just a little bit different. And the So you can see whether you need all of those right. details that you'll get with EQ. Absolutely. Whichever one right. like looks more intuitive to you, mm -hmm. you'll know that interface is more my style. Well, um, and the difference really, really is between yes. those two. The mini, you use blocks out of the library. Correct. And you can choose a setting, put the blocks in mm -hmm. it. But on the EQ8, the big version, you can actually go in and draw and change right. and do lots of different you things to those blocks. blocks. You yes. can make your own blocks. So that's a real big, that's the main difference that between is those the main two. Difference. It, I know a lot of people who like to just play with the EQ and yes. don't necessarily quilt. Right? With it. You <laughs> yes. know, the quilts maybe never get made, but they have a lot of fun. But it's a lot of fun to play with. And the mini yes. gives you all that opportunities. And EQ is always good to have uh, block stash libraries for you and fabric statues mm -hmm. to pick up and add to the mini. And that gives you lots of things to play with. Thousands of blocks. Oh. They have lots of blocks to play with. As many with. blocks as you can imagine. And it's then you can draw blocks. anything you want. Yes. Yes, you sure can. And so it gives you a lot of fun to have. And so on that one, um, they're working with the two, two block quilts. So when you take two blocks and put them together to make a secondary design. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so that's our quilt 2018 challenge for this month. And so that gives you some ways to play with it. Mm -hmm. and it sure does. Try different colors and make it just pop just for you. Yeah. I want to talk about the quilt behind us. It's I forgot beautiful. to give credit to who made that. It was made by Quiltopia, the Nashua Sew and Vac in New Hampshire. Oh, and it was at an auction. And of course, you know, I'm a sucker for auctions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's a great quilt. It's a really cute one. It, it is. is. And so it's a strippy kind of quilt. And so if you're making a, a, a quilt for a breast cancer uh, reason, that's a good way to do it because a lot of people can provide blocks and then you can put them mm -hmm. together in strips. Yes. It's yes. like a lot of crazy quilting on there. Yes. Isn't that neat? And there's like a breast that. cancer ribbon on there. And, uh, and so they just use lots of different they pinks do. and lots of different designs. It's very fun. Incl including a little puppy dog. I saw the puppy dog. He's really cute <laughs> with his little nose. <laughs> Um, well, we've got lots of people signing on out there. Um, we, we're glad that you joined us today. And we do have to give you just one little apology last week. We had a little trouble getting our internet connection to be able to do it live last week from Virginia Beach. 
So we taped it mm -hmm. and then we put it on YouTube. And so if you didn't if you didn't get a chance to see it, go to YouTube slash quilt TV and search for quilt chat and you should have all of the quilt chats come up. And if you haven't done it already, I would suggest that you subscribe to our channel, Quilt Chat mm -hmm. on YouTube, because then every time we post a new video, you're going to get a notice about it. For everything that comes up on everything on Quilt TV, all yes. the tips. All we have it. so many tips, product reviews, uh, winter interviews. We Every, everything we do. And of course, right. that's where Quilt Chat ends up after we do the program today. That's where it goes so that it, it will there. be there permanently. <laughs> that's right. So thanks for joining us at Quilt Chat. And we hope you'll go take a look at Quilt TV and on, on YouTube. And we'll see them next week, won't we? Yes. We <laughs> see you then. <laughs>